Now let us see the hardware used in our project. Step down transformer with a specification of 12 volts. The bridge wave rectifier circuit which provides the required voltage to the optocoupler. The optocoupler unit is used as an isolation amplifier. The EEG amplifier is designed using the high gain precision instrumentation amplifier. The LM3S8962 evaluation kit which is an embedded microcontroller unit used for EEG signal processing. The MSP430 launch pad is programmed by using Energia. Driver circuit designed using L293D provides bidirectional drive current for the motor. A model car with a 5 volt DC motor. Disposable surface electrodes for acquiring eye blink signal and the 1020 EEG electrode placement cap. The surface electrodes are placed on the frontal lobe, the cap is placed on the scalp region and the reference electrode at the ear lobe to ground the circuit. The 230 volt DC supply that is given to the step down transformer is stepped down to 12 volts. This is given to the bridge rectifier circuit which is composed of four individual rectifier diode connected in a closed loop bridge to provide a desired output of 9 volt to the optocoupler and the LED indicates the supply of 9 volt as an output. The optocoupler unit designed using MCT2E isolates the patient from the fluctuations in voltage. The output from the optocoupler is given to the amplifier circuit. And the electrode from the subject is given to the amplifier input which is indicated using the yellow wires. The acquired input is fed into the impedance matching circuit to match the impedance of the system with our body's impedance. Notch filter is used to reduce the power line interference. The EEG signal which is in the order of microvolts is amplified using INA122. The output from the amplifier is fed to the LM3S8962 through the analog input pins for EEG signal processing to extract the features such as eye blink and mu waves and the extracted signal is taken out from the PWM output pins and it is given to the MSP430 for navigation control. The portable charger is used to provide 5 volt supply to the MSP430 using USB cable. The extracted signal is given as an analog input to the analog input pin. The code for the movement of the car with respect to eye blink and mu wave is programmed using Energia. The PWM output from the MSP430 is given to the driver amplifier designed using L293D and the UA7804 
5 voltage regulator is used to provide 5 voltage supply to the driver amplifier. Output of the driver amplifier is given to the DC motor through the yellow wires and the motor navigates according to the signal received in MSP430. The subject does voluntary blinking once and the eye blink is converted into pulse and it is used to start the car. The subject is asked to focus on the visual stimuli for left navigation. The corresponding mu waves is generated and the mu power of C3CZ becomes high. Then the mu wave is converted into PWM which navigates the vehicle towards the left. The subject is asked to focus on the visual stimuli for right navigation. The corresponding mu waves is generated and the mu power of C4CZ becomes high. The mu wave is converted into PWM which navigates the vehicle towards the right. The subject does voluntary blinking twice and the eye blink is converted into pulse and it is used to stop the car.